Hello, Willie here, and I'm going to open my Crate Crochet subscription box with you. This is the August subscription box, and I have finally caught up. I've opened one box a day for a while, and I am i think I just got a notice telling me that the September box is on its way. So by the time it arrives, there's no way I'm going to have made all these projects, but that's okay. It's good to have a goal, right? Let's open the box and see what I got. I always feel spectacularly dangerous with this. Pretty bright pink tissue paper this month. Just a little note from them saying thank you. Nothing particularly interesting on it except that they'd like to see any unboxing videos. So hey, watch my unboxing video. And project for this month is a bucket or beanie. So it looks like it's a choice between the two. I think I'd like to make a bucket hat. Hello and welcome to the second new Crate Crochet box. I present the last of the winter season's projects. Well, I'm going to make the summer project, I think. The exciting bit. Oh, this is really nice. I love these colours. There are three balls of this beautiful cotton merino tweed yarn. They look like 50 gram balls. The brand is Concept by Katia, and this is made in Italy. I've not heard of this one before. The colour is a purpley blue sort of mix with that nice tweed look to it. This is really soft. It's very, very nice. I definitely recommend this one. It feels beautiful. And there is also three balls of this Bellissimo Linden yarn, which is 53% Australian extra fine merino and 47% cotton. It is again made in Italy and it's a beautiful blue color. The color is called Marina. This yarn is really soft. The combination of the wool with the cotton means you've got the real softness of the wool, but you've got the kind of definition to the yarn that you get with cotton. There's not a lot of fuzzing there, and that's totally the technical term for it, fuzzing. And I love that both of these yarns are ones that I haven't actually tried before. And also one of these. Now, these I have seen all over the place recently, and I've in fact started making them myself. They are super easy to make, guys. Like um, They cost, I think, like seven or eight dollars usually to buy a pre-made pom-pom, but I highly recommend just buying some faux fur and making them yourself because then it ends up costing a whole lot less you do get covered in fur in the process though so i don't know that might <laughs> that might mean you definitely don't want to do it i ended up so covered in fur when i made my first faux fur pom-pom that i actually went to the mirror afterwards i was just brushing my teeth to get ready for bed and i'm like oh i've gone really gray this tiny bit of hair that i have it's really oh and it was faux fur all over the top of my head i have no idea no idea so they've made that for me, which is nice. And it, it feels really soft. It's really big. I've never made one quite that big before. I mainly make them for kids beanies though. So maybe this is the normal size for an adult beanie. I can't resist. Does it look too big? <laughs> or do I just look insane? Oh, I forgot. These boxes have two layers. So let's have a look. Ooh. This layer has um, little crinkly bits of paper and there are three little envelopes slash bags. Let's see, little bag number one. One giant plastic needle and one, two, three, Four stitch markers of the practical kind, but in pretty colours. Second bag. This should be the sweets. Yeah, it's the sweets. And the tea. And I'm going to continue the tradition. Oh, we're going with jelly beans. This must be the new thing. No more Mentos. I'm going to have to actually buy my own Mentos. But the jelly beans are actually quite tasty, so yay. And they're easier to share. I don't know if that's a negative or a positive but my son now knows I get jelly beans in these boxes. So he really enjoyed the last lot. And the final bag, it is actually a bag this month, not an envelope. And I'm guessing it's probably gonna be a couple of those random postcard things with pretty prints on them. The first one says, made with love and a little bit of yarn, just for you. That's nice. And the second one says, 
a special gift from me to you. So actually that makes it a little bit clearer what they're about. These are nice cards to give with your yarn projects and I'll definitely use those, definitely. And there's a couple of stickers as well that just say made with love that you can use, I guess, on your gift wrapping, which does look really pretty. I think that's a great idea. I love packaging, you might have guessed. Um, and I think that's a nice way to jazz up your gifts. And it's nice of them to include something like that with envelopes to put the cards in. So that is the box for this month. Hello, it's me again. And I've got a couple more things to tell you before you go. First of all, check out my bucket hat. <laughs> I really like it. My son said, and I quote, that hat does not look as good as you think it looks. Um, but I disagree. I think it's cute and I'm going to wear it anyway and just be the embarrassing mum. So when I was opening the box with you, I was so keen to get to the yarn that I didn't read the booklet properly. I thought I was being offered a choice between this stunning bucket hat and the beanie with the pom-poms. But it turns out only the bucket hat pattern was physically in the box. The beanie was available as a download. So you could choose between the bucket and the beanie and then the booklet said you would be able to also make a free mini project with the leftover yarn. So when I had a look at the pattern download page, there was a pattern for the bucket hat, there was a pattern for the beanie and then there were two bonus patterns. I assumed that meant that there were two free mini projects for me to pick from. When I had a look at the first link, it was exactly on point a pair of really simple fingerless gloves with a little bit of interest on the back of the hand. Exactly the kind of thing you might like to make if you'd chosen to make the beanie. But obviously I made the bucket hat, so I was pretty keen to see what the second bonus project would be. The second bonus project is less on point. It is a scarf. So I am assuming that Crate Crochet is not actually suggesting that I would be able to make a scarf with the leftover yarn from this hat because there's just not enough yarn left over. I'm guessing it's a bonus pattern I don't know, maybe you could have made it instead of the hats if you wanted to, or maybe it was human error and that's the wrong pattern there. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. I'm really happy with the number of patterns I got in the box this month. So that is everything about the projects. And now I'm gonna have a little whinge because I really feel that they should have included a physical pattern for the beanie in the box. I get that they might want to include the bonus patterns as downloadable patterns, but even there, I feel like it should explicitly say in the booklet what those bonus patterns are. Like, actually say you might like to make a pair of gloves with the leftover yarn using this bonus pattern, rather than just saying there is a free pattern and making you go to the website and find out what it is. In terms of the beanie, I really feel like that pattern should have been in the box. The main event for this box was bucket or beanie. It was the two patterns. There was this great, big, fluffy, gorgeous pom-pom in the box. And yet the pattern to use the pom-pom wasn't in the box. Crate Crochet subscriptions aren't budget subscriptions. They're quite expensive. So I get that probably they couldn't fit the pattern for the beanie on that nice glossy booklet, but they could have printed it on a separate piece of paper and included it in the box for me. I am probably a little bit more frustrated than I should be by this situation because when I went to look at the beanie pattern, I couldn't find it. There isn't a URL for the pattern listed in the booklet. And while there are QR codes on the back of the booklet, none of those QR codes are for the patterns. They're for the social media sites of Crate Crochet. So I looked everywhere on that website. I really feel like I hunted through it from top to bottom, but I couldn't find the patterns anywhere. I ended up having to email them and they were very kind. They got back to me quite quickly and they gave me the link, but I felt like such a dunce. And then I have to admit, I then had tech problems. I couldn't get the patterns to download properly or to open or save properly for quite a long time. And that all kind of drained some of the fun away from it for me. This box was really well curated. Partly, I just love the yarn choice. Partly it was the kind of care that had gone into picking these projects that were so complementary and fit together so well that you could either have your summer hat or your winter hat. I loved it. It should have felt really special, but in the end I felt quite frustrated and I didn't enjoy it as much as I feel I should have or as I feel I would have if they had printed that pattern out for me. So that is my thought on it. Um, I'd be interested to know what other people think, whether I'm just being a little bit of a technophobe I don't think I'm a technophobe, but 
So that's it for this month. A big hello to the people who've been leaving me lovely comments and likes and getting in contact. It's been so nice to get to know some of you a little bit better over the last few months. It's really making my day. I have some interesting new content coming up soon because I've ordered myself some new and different styles of subscription boxes. So I will be opening those with you and you'll be getting to have a look at some different options for subscription boxes or if not subscription boxes, different options for getting your hands on new and different yarns. So keep your eyes out for that one. I also have the September box of Crate Crochet winging its way to me at the moment. So I'll be opening that one with you soon. And I've actually finished this month's project. Of course, I haven't finished the projects from the last few boxes, but just ignore that. I'm totally up to date. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.